Hi guys, I'm Anna White and this week we're going to switch it up and do a project plan video. One of my criteria for moving into the new house is we absolutely had to have a table and benches somewhere to sit out and dine at but I don't have the time to put into building a big, beautiful farmhouse table. So I wanted something that was really simple and easy to make and quick and fast and that'll work for now and maybe in a year or two we can replace it with something really grand. So I came up with this and I call it the $50 farmhouse table and uh, because it's all two by fours and two by sixes and you only need two tools, a drill and a saw to build it. All you'll need to build this table is six 2x4s that are 8 feet long and six 2x6s that are stud length. Now the 2x6s that are stud length, those are your top boards, you don't even have to cut those, you can just put those aside, they're ready to go. The 2x4s you'll want to cut according to the cut list, get those all cut out, and then we can start building the leg sets. Just lay them out, um, I put a spacer on to bring the stretchers up a little bit and the apron up, and screw it with 2 and 3 quarter inch screws. I'm using self-tapping two and three quarter inch exterior deck screws. They work really well and they hold up well. And the best part is you know your table can work inside and outside. Once the two leg sets are done, let's start making it into a table. Attach the aprons to the inside of the leg sets at the top. I'll put my screws in at a little bit of an angle. That way if the table leans back and forth, the angled screws will catch it and hold it in place a little better. It's a little trick that I do. You need to take a second to make sure the entire table is square. Mine was actually an inch out. The way that you do this is you take a diagonal measurement from outside corner to outside corner on both sides and then adjust until those measurements match. After you get the aprons on, you can add the stretcher on the bottom, let it over extend equally on both sides. Now find the center of the aprons, add the center support, and then you can start attaching the tabletop boards. Find the center, start in the center, and then work my way out. That way I know I have an even overhang on both sides. So I just screwed right through the top. So it took me about an hour to actually build the table. I chose to sand my table just to get rid of some of the rough spots and the splinters, but I kind of wish I'd gone with more of a rustic look and roughed it up. You can do that with your table. So for the finish, I used Watco Danish oil. So I'm just putting the finish on the table. I'm using a light walnut Danish oil by Watco. And it's giving it a really natural look, but still bringing out a lot of the wood character. It's really easy to apply into a streak-free finish. It's one of my favorites. And it's not just the color, it's a sealer. So it's one of my go-tos if I'm in a hurry and just want like one step and I'm done and I know it's going to look good. It's a all-in-one stain and finish. So it's really easy to apply. You just put it on, wipe it on and wipe it off and you're done. You can add additional coats. Um, I really love it because it's a very clear product so it allows the natural wood grains and knots and the character of the wood to show through but it's a nice finish that you can really scrub and clean up and it's easy to apply. So I love how the table turned out and all in all it took me about two hours to build the entire table. Um, I loved it so much that I went ahead and built benches as well. In the description you can find the link to the plans and I'm also sharing the cut list so that you can build it. Do share if you build because I'd love to see how yours turns out too. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you next week.